Good evening, Year 9. It's Miss Walker, the Head of English. I'm here today to talk to you about the English language and English literature to GCSEs. Now, you're probably thinking that that is a little bit strange, given that both of these subjects are core and are therefore not optional. However, I want to give you a very clear picture of what your two-year course will look like. So, what will I study? We study the AQA specification, and all the texts that you see on the screen in front of you now are texts that you'll encounter on your two-year journey. They are a Shakespeare play, a pre-19th century novel, a modern play and the power and conflict cluster that is taken from the AQA anthology. What skills will I develop during my GCSEs? The skills that you'll develop during your GCSE years are skills that you've already been working on during Key Stage 3. The idea is that by the time you sit your GCSEs at the end of Year 11, you will have embedded the skills listed below and will be proficient in most areas. The GCSE Literature Course Outline. The GCSE Literature, literature course is made up of two papers. Paper 1 is Shakespeare the 19th century novel and paper 2 is modern text and poetry. The GCSE language course outline again consists of two papers. Paper 1 is explorations in creative reading and writing and paper 2 is writers viewpoints and perspectives. As well as this you will also do a spoken language endorsement. This will be where you produce a, small present, a short presentation and present it to a small audience. So how will I be assessed? You will sit two exams for English literature and two exams for English language. You will also have a spoken language assessment. Where can my English GCSEs take me? With a strong pass at GCSE, it will open up doors to our future. It is something that both future employers and further education establishments regard very highly. If you require any further information with regards to your GCSE English literature or English language course, please don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you.